All right, so we're going to show uh, an example of how to do the first step in, in the payment application process. So you're going to be signing on to Procore. You're going to choose the actual project that you're on. And we're going to go to the financial tools over here, commitments. And you have to choose your subcontract, which is the only one that you'll be able to see. We'll go ahead and view it. And if you want to, you can hide this sidebar, give you a little bit more of a view. Um, so real quickly, this contract, again, this is just a, a template um, just to show you how it is. But here's your contract sum, uh, change orders, your new contract, and how much has been paid to date. So the first step that we'll need to do in the payment application process is you actually have to create the invoice. After you create the invoice, then that will come to us automatically. You have to do nothing. We'll review it once it's approved then a release, partial release of lien will occur. So first thing is you're going to go over here in the right hand column, create the invoice and you're going to choose the invoice start date, which for this period, it's a little weird because we did a half a month, but it will typically be uh, the first of the month through the 30th or 31st. Um, this is actually the billing date, which is the 25th and the invoice number is your second invoice so the way that we've broken this down is to make it as simple as possible for this one it's um, actually a cleaning contract um, and they will be doing a total of um, 176 two bedrooms 49 one bedroom so uh, again this is a hypothetical example but what I'm going to go in here and you're just going to do a simple calculation so if this is um, the first units were 12 and now they've done another 24 so it's 36 units divided by your 176 so you have now done 20.45 percent so you just put in here 20.45 percent it automatically calculates out here and let's say hypothetically it's a little bit off you can simply go over here I'm just changing the number but you can automatically go over here and then it'll <clears throat> automatically change the percentage um, let's say this one we did 10% again automatically calculates if it's wrong or slightly off you can simply just put 800 I'm gonna put 900 and that's your base contract so this is the base contract at the top of the page and here are your change orders. so for this one um, this was a reclaim that we did a change order for this has already been built 100% you obviously can't bill anymore for that and this is um, cleaning of the outside of the buildings uh, again a hypothetical example I just threw a there's 18 buildings uh, $18,000 so let's say we're done with um, two buildings right so it's 2 divided by 18 which is going to be 11% so you go in here and you put 11.11% because that's as far as you're done um, and we're going to go submit for review and I'm going to put this on hold for a second okay so I'm back to the point where the uh, uh, invoice has been approved at that point you'll see approved right here and all you're going to do is go to that invoice you're going to click this export button and it's going to automatically create your payment application all that needs to be done is simply print this paper um, Sign, sign and date the information for the notary right here and then you're just going to uh, drag it back over to the uh, add a file which is right here at the bottom so let's just say that file was uh, printed and notarized you're gonna simply I'm just gonna pick a file you're gonna just drag it over here and actually do me a favor um, we're gonna label these instead of having different names for everything um, hold on a second okay sorry about that just wanted to relabel this please put payment application so we can decipher from one to the other and you should be able to just drag it over here which for whatever reason it's okay it's got to change colors now it is populating and that's the first piece of the puzzle you're just going to save it at that point it's going to send us an email and we're going to review it one more time just to make sure it's correct and then you will get a release of lien uh, partial release of lien excuse me and i'm going to show you that in the next video but the first step of this process your payment application is done um, and then we'll go into the next video which will be release of liens thank you